Excuse me. Is this chair taken? Excuse me. Is this chair taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me. Is this chair taken? Excuse me. Is this taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks, anybody. Sure thing. Excuse me. Is this a seat taken? Shortly. Would you mind if I sat here so he or she or it comes? They do seem to be pretty late. You never know who you might be turning down. <laughs> Sorry. Nice try, though. Sure thing. Is this seat taken? Um, no, it's not. Would you mind if I sat here? Yes, I would. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sat here? No, go ahead. Thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm -hmm. Great place. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the book? I just wanted to read it quiet if you don't mind. No, sure thing. Mm -hmm. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm -hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? The Sound of Fury. Oh, Hemingway. What's the book? The Sound of Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I love Faulkner. <laughs> I spent a whole winter reading it once. I just started. I was so excited that after Temple Peace. I went out and decided to buy everything else he wrote. I mean, one of the greatest experiences in my life. All that psychological understanding, page after page of gorgeous posts, his profound grasp of the mystery of time and human existence, the smells of the earth. What do you think? I think it's pretty boring. What's the book? The Sound of Fury. Oh, Faulkner. You like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I was so excited after 10 pages, I went out and bought everything else he wrote. All that psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And his pulled down grasp of the mystery of time. And human existence? I can't believe I've waited this long to read him. You never know. You might not have liked him before. That's true. You might not have been ready for him. You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the time. Oh, my name is Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Yes, I thought Faulkner was a um, great experience. Yes. The sound and the fury. Well, onwards and upwards. Later. You have to hit these things at the right moment or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Do you uh, come in here a lot? Actually, I'm just in town for two days from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. <laughs> My name's Bill, by the way. I'm Betty. Hi. Hi. Do you come here a lot? Um, every once in a while. Do you? Not so much anymore. Not as much as I used to before my nervous breakdown. <laughs> uh, why are you asking? I'm just interested. Are you really interested, or are you just trying to pick me up? No, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested in whether I come in here a lot? I'm just getting acquainted. <laughs> Maybe you're only interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to invite you back to your place to listen to some music, or because you have some great VCR tape, or because you have some terrific unheard Django Reinhardt record, when all you really want to do is mess around, which you won't do very well. After that, you'll go to the bathroom and pee very loudly, and then pad into the kitchen and get yourself a beer from the refrigerator without asking if I'd like it with you or not. Then you'll proceed to lie back down beside me and tell me how you have a girlfriend named Stephanie who's away at medical school in Belgium for a year, and that you're involved in an off and on relationship in what you'll call a very intricate. For the past seven years, none of which interests me, mister. Do you come in here a lot? Um, every once in a while, I think. I come in here quite a lot, and I don't remember seeing you before. I guess we're on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different times. Amazing night in the brightest sort of summer in this town and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. We probably pass each other in the street every day. Right in front of this place, probably. Yep. Well, the waiters here sure seem to be in a different time zone. You can't seem to locate one anywhere. So what's you? I beg pardon? Nothing. Sorry. Yes, different time zones. City life. It's crazy. Amazing. The right next door to something is not. I never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. Hey, you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in, were you? Actually, I was. <laughs> boyfriend. Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. Uh, 
Wait a minute. 